This particular house is a house that me and my friend have been keeping our eyes on. He likes this property. I like this property. We're just curious to see why this thing has been on the market for a little while, why it's been in and out of contract. This lets me know that there might be some foundation problems in this particular property. Normally when a home has foundation problems, you'll start to see some signs, right? One of the signs is doors not closing or meeting up the way they're supposed to. Now the camera may not catch it, but something that I noticed as soon as I started to walk this way is that there is some parts of the sheetrock that are not, they're not smooth, they don't flow together, right? So that kind of lets me know that something's going on with this. It's a smooth crack around this portion, almost like a perfect square right here. So I don't know if it might be just something with the house settling or maybe they did some patchwork or something there. So I don't know. You guys may or may not be able to see this, but up in the corner here, you can see where the sheetrock is starting to separate all the way up to the top. Here is another little thing that I look for around the edge of the windows because I'm already seeing signs of separation in the sheetrock over here on this side. I always do double check this in every window of the house. I come to the corners and this corner up here in particular where the corner meets, it has a crack that's working its way outside towards away from the window. Now, what that tells me in, is again, there are some sort of settling or foundation issues with this particular property. <clears throat> now we're in one of the bedrooms and same thing. Over in this particular bedroom, there shows a crack in the, sep in the sheet rock right here. And it looks like someone tried to patch over. The reason I can tell that is because of the fact that the texture on the wall is not consistent. You have this texture here, you have this other texture here, and then you have this smooth texture here where no one, they forgot to just uh, spray texture here. It's just, it's just smooth. So this lets me know that there is something going on with this house. This is another thing that caught my attention as I was walking this property up. I noticed that the texture here in this corner and up into the ceiling going down, it is, is, is different than the rest of the house. So at some point there must have been, or there was some settling and separation here where they try to come in and do some patchwork, but obviously they didn't do it right because of the fact that you have this smooth texture all the way around and then it doesn't match what's already here in place. Same thing is happening over here. There is a patch of sheetrock that looks like maybe somebody came in and tried to texture here and cover something up because it's different from the rest of the wall. So you have these two little spots here. Maybe it might have been a hole or something that they had to fix or who knows, it could have been some electrical issue with this outlet that's right here, but definitely something alarming that we want to pay attention to and have that inspector really put their eyes on when they come, when they come do an inspection on this property if we're going to move forward on this. So something else that I've noticed now in this shower, the tile over here in this corner as well as the other corner is cracked. So that is something else that we have to pay attention to that just kind of is a red flag or alarming to what may or may not be some sort of settling or foundation issues like I mentioned before. So these are things to take note of to be mindful of. Another thing right here that you might be able to see is this line right here, this separation in the sheetrock that Maybe they try to cover or whatever the case may be, but definitely something that's alarming in these older homes. Now, this particular separation, it actually runs all the way down to the other side. So definitely something, something alarming here that we need to look at when we get that inspection back. And again, I'm seeing some stuff over on the ceiling over here. Could have been a leak, could have been, who knows, but there definitely is some different color paint in the ceiling that is a little alarming for what it is that we're trying to look for, right? You can see, somewhat no you can't really see it there yeah you can kind of see it so if you look right over in this spot right here it goes up like this that is some different color there so another this is the other restroom i don't know why i've got these black screens whatever i'm not worried about it but um another issue in this other restroom is the same thing you've got that separation of tile in both both corners more so on this side so um definitely another concerning point of this particular home something else that i've noticed and no i'm not taking a shit but something else that i've noticed is the separation of sheetrock right here around this area up as well here it it's almost like it's rised over on this side and it's lower on this side so definitely something's going on with this house as far as um, it's settling or foundation issues if you guys can look right here on the wall back in this corner over here right here this stuff is all cracked and it looks like they might have Damn, that don't even feel right. That feels like they used like some silicone or something. It's like rubbery. So they obviously did some patchwork right here and it runs all the way down that side. So I don't know what's going on over here, but definitely some alarming, some alarming points um, on this particular property. Just 
just the different textures and finishes and the, the, the way the, the sheetrock is rised on one side or it's lowered on the other. It's just not symmetrical, it's not even, so. Another thing I like to do is come out to the outdoor AC unit and I like to look for the manufacture date on this particular piece of equipment. Now what that lets me know is that just lets me know how old this unit is. This thing is from 2005, so we're sitting around nine years old. The last thing that I like to do is walk the exterior of the house and then do the same thing like you do on the inside. Check out these windows, check out everything in the corners and see if you can see, especially on this brick stuff. For example, this is the only one that I found on this particular house. This, there's a crack that goes right here all the way down in that granite and in that, in that grout there and it goes all the way to here. And this is your expansion joint or your stress joint, right? So this thing is, has a little gap, but over time, that's just what happens. You just kind of fill it in and just make peace with it and move along. Again, this was the only spot that I noticed on this particular property, but the foundation is cracked down here um, on the bottom and it goes all the way up, like I said, through this expansion joint and then it through that window as well. So it's probably why we're starting to see some of the things that we're seeing in the restrooms because both restrooms are on this side of the property. I hope this information helps you make a wise purchase this season. Now, I am not a professional inspector, nor is that my forte, or do I have any experience doing that. The only reason why I feel comfortable talking about these things is because one, I grew up in a house that had foundation issues. I've watched my dad put a lot of money and put a lot of work into this house. And two, I get inspection reports back from some of the properties that I deal with, and these are some of the common issues that I notice across the board. With that being said, I always recommend, whether it be a new house or a old house, get yourself a inspector to come in and put their professional eye on your property. Another thing, I did not get up in the attic and look at the furnace and I did not go look at the uh, water heater on camera because off camera, I was not able to find the manufactured date on those two pieces of equipment. Please do so when you are walking a property. Go look for that manufacture date so you know and you have an idea of how old your pieces of equipment are in this home you're looking to purchase. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a message, drop a comment or do a DM or whatever the case may be. Good luck.